I'm going to share with you the weird question I ask on every single one of my closes. Okay. So here it is. I get on the close and keep in mind, because I have a specific sales process, I have already shown testimonials. I've shown a couple of case studies, et cetera. Now this does apply across the board. I don't care if you're selling SEO, if you're selling websites, if you're selling social media, marketing, whatever you're selling rank and rent lead generation for a flat fee, which I believe is the Holy grail, but more on that later. I don't care what you're selling. At this point, I've already shown them case studies. And if you would like, you can wait and show them on your final call. I like to just get all that out of the way so that this call is very relaxed. There's no pressure and I'm just giving them price, getting card and we're on to the next. Okay. But here's the question I ask. I get on the call, you know, a couple back and forth. I don't waste a lot of time. I'm not a big small talk guy. And I'll say, hey, I got a question you probably never heard. How do you know that I'm not just full of crap? How do you know this isn't just a big scheme and I'm out to steal your money? Seriously. And I will ask that question. I know as you're hearing this, you're going, why in the world? Why would you ask that question? Like, I can already hear what you're thinking. Well, you're, you're going to plant doubts and you're going to give them reasons not to do it. And guess what? It's the exact opposite. When you ask this question, this is, what, this is what's going to happen. The customer is now going to start selling you on why you are not full of crap. It's incredible. And so typically what I will get from this is, well, um, I did see the case studies. I did see the testimonials, which, and they'll say, well, I, and I know you technically could fake those, but it would be pretty tough. But apart from that, um, and then they'll say, well, and I did see some of the websites and um, I mean, whatever, but here's what they most often say is they say, look, I've been doing this a while and I have a pretty good gut instinct when somebody is full of crap and I don't take you as somebody that's full of crap. I don't. And here's the truth. The business owner is correct. And if you are brand new uh, to business, you might not know this yet, but it only takes getting screwed one or two times to develop this instinct to know when something is off. Um, there's red flags. There's things that people say. There's p things that people don't say. There's things that people bring up that are they're trying to cover this. I don't even know if there's a specific checklist, but it's just a feeling and you will develop that over time. Okay. But these, what I'm saying is these business owners, they know that. And so as long as you are being genuine, as long as you're being transparent and you've given them look, so in the case of this, because if you're selling SEO, it's a little bit different. Um, but this is still an excellent question, but if you are selling rank and rent, um, lead generation for a flat fee using my process and you're sending a couple of leads in advance. Okay they see where your intentions are and they, they, they can kind of understand, okay, this guy wouldn't be sending me leads if he's just trying to scam me. Does that make sense? So I asked this question on every, I'm not kidding. Every single one of my sales calls, um, as far back as I can remember, pro well, probably in this, in this calendar year. So probably the last four or five months, um, I have asked this question and it is a brilliant, beautiful and backwards question because it's going to have, it's going to let the customer overcome their own objection and sell you on why you are legit.